goes right along with my message. I got a message entitled, You're Going to Sing Again. Hallelujah. Maybe you've lost your song. I don't know. But if you would, turn your Bibles to Numbers chapter 21. And uh, so many times if we aren't careful, we get discouraged. Just common to man. But wherever I go, I see so many people that are discouraged in life. Discouraged preachers. Discouraged church members. I see young people who should be excited about life and their future, yet so many of our young people, they are discouraged. Now, it's normal for everybody to get discouraged once in a while, but if you aren't careful, the devil will use that discouragement to get you out of God's will. And then he will use that discouragement to get you to speak wrong and then to act wrong. See, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, but that does not mean that we're not going to experience troubles in this life. The Bible says man is born of woman, is few of days, and full of troubles. Which brings me to my text in Numbers 21, verse 4. Talking about the children of Israel. And they journeyed from Mount Or by the way of the sea to compass the land of Edom. And the souls of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God. And against Moses, wherefore have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth this light bread. They're talking about the manna that God was providing for them. Now, these people were greatly discouraged, and then notice they begin to speak. Now, listen to me very carefully. When you are discouraged, Be very careful about what you say. The Bible says, if you have thought evil thoughts, lay your hand upon your mouth. Amen. Don't talk about how big your mountain is, but talk to your mountain about how big your God is. (laughs) Hallelujah. See, they were greatly discouraged and they spoke. If you're down and discouraged and bad things are happening, then be careful what you say. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Notice they spake against God and they spake against Moses. God was trying to help them and Moses was trying to help them. For goodness sake, don't talk about the preacher. The preacher's up here trying to help you. Amen. Glory to God. But notice they spake against God and against Moses. Negative words attract demons. And positive words attract God. I've been discouraged. I've been down and I've had some dark clouds over my life at times. But in those times, I have learned some things. I have learned what to do. And I just began to jump and shout and sing and dance and praise God for his goodness and his mercy toward me in those hard times. He brought me out of the miry clay. He set my feet on the rock to stay. Glory to God. He saved me. He sanctified me. He filled me with the Holy Ghost and the fire. He called me to preach his word, and he put a new song in my heart. I said he put a new song in my heart. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you today on the subject. You're going to sing. You're going to sing. You're going to sing again. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we love you and we praise you. Oh, you're a great, awesome, wonderful God. And Lord, you put a new song in our hearts when you save us. And Lord, sometimes that song, that song, Lord, it gets covered over and by the discouragements of life. But today I ask you, Lord, to speak through these lips of clay. I ask you for that holy anointing that comes from your throne of grace. Touch these lips. Let my tongue be like that of the writer's pen. Give us a listening ear. Speak to your people, O God. Bring them up and bring them out into the victory that you have purposed for their life. And everybody said in Jesus' name, amen. Everybody gets discouraged. You may be discouraged about your family. You may be discouraged about your finances. You may be discouraged about your children. You may be discouraged about your marriage. You may be discouraged about your health. There are so many things in life that if we aren't careful, they can discourage us. Everybody gets discouraged. And if that describes you today, this message is for you. Somebody shout amen. Amen. I read a story several years ago about a woman who had a little bird. And that little bird was a happy bird. 
And he would sit in his cage and he would sing all day long. And that little bird brought such joy to the household, singing morning, noon, and night. And so one day the lady, she was cleaning the house and she was using her vacuum cleaner. And so she took the end off the hose and she took the vacuum hose and decided to put it in the bird cage and clean out that little bird's cage. And as she started cleaning, she dropped something. She reached down to pick it up and when she did, whew, and that little bird was sucked into the vacuum cleaner. And this woman, she got frantic. And she grabbed her vacuum cleaner and she reached down into the bag there and she found that little bird and he was still alive. And she began to clean the mess off that little bird. And she cleaned out his mouth and she cleaned out his feathers and she cleaned him out and she put him back in his cage. And he just sat there and he stared. And he looked all around the room, but he had lost his song. Amen. He just sat there, and the little bird had lost his song. He never did sing again. I want to ask you today, have you lost your song? Has the devil taken your song? Has the devil sucked you up into his vacuum system and has he, has he caused you to lose your song? See, many of the people I meet, they have been sucked up into the devil's vacuum system. But I've got good news, hallelujah. Our God is greater than the devil. And when the devil comes and sucks you up in his system, we have to clean out our eyes. And then we got to clean out our mouth. Hallelujah. Then we got to shake ourselves. Hallelujah. See, that bird just sat there and stared and never did sing again. He was depressed. He was shocked. He was discouraged. And he lost his song and never did sing anymore. But I want you to know you're going to sing again. Hallelujah. I said you're going to sing again. I said you're going to sing again. So what if the devil has sucked you in his vacuum system? So what if trouble has come? So what if you have a bad doctor's report? So what if it looks dark and gloomy all around? So what if some things look like they're dead? Our God's not dead. Our God's still alive. I feel him in my hand. I feel him in my feet. I feel him all over me. God's not dead. Hallelujah. And your dream's not dead either. If you'll open your mouth and start singing your song, glory to God. I was preaching last night out there, and all of a sudden, this thing just started coming up to me. While I was going over my notes, I sat it, I'd sing it. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. I was blind, but praise his name, I now can see. I was in darkness when Jesus found me. But since he touched me, I now am free. Somebody touch me. Somebody touch me. I was blind, but praise his name. I now can see. I was in darkness when Jesus found me. But since he touched me, I now am free. Hallelujah. Go on praise him. You felt the master's touch. Hallelujah. See, you might be down, but we're going to clean out our mouth. We're going to wipe our eyes. We're going to shake our feathers, and we're going to rock back and start singing. Hallelujah. I said we're going to shout, and we're going to sing. God's put a new song in our heart. We're going to shout for joy, and we're going to sing our song. Somebody Touch me. Oh, so combined the Oshataya. Rimo Shatelamahaya. I've never forgotten the touch of that nail scarred hand when I came out of darkness into the marvelous light. Woo! I probably done it a thousand times. Surely goodness, woo, and mercy shall follow me. Glory all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, I might go through some hard time. I might get discouraged one time. Sometimes I just have to shake myself and get back in the race. Hallelujah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Everybody faces discouragement. But I'm here to prophesy and I'm here to proclaim. And I'm here to say you're going to sing again. In the name of Jesus, I said you're going to sing again. 
I said in the name of Jesus, you're going to sing again. Go on, open your mouth and shout. Give him some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love David. Look at Psalm 40, verse 1. David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet on a rock and established my going. And he put a new song in my heart. I said he put a new song in my heart. I said he put a new song. He put a new song. He put a new song. Have you got a song? I like those songs they were singing. I heard some new songs this morning. Praise God. God wants to put a new song in your heart. Hallelujah. See, the song is there. But you've got to open your mouth and you've got to sing. David prophesied and David said under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, he put a new song in my heart. Look at it. Hallelujah. You see, before you go into trouble, before we go in now, down into the devil's vacuum system, before you have the wind and the daylights knocked out of you, woo, we got a song. I said we got a song. I said you got a song. Glory to God. We have a song, and I want to tell you that when God lifted you out of that horrible pit of sin, when Jesus Christ came into your heart, when the miracle working power of God transformed your life, I'm here to tell you, God gave you a new song. What you going to do with your song? I'm here to proclaim you're going to sing again. Go on, tell, look at your neighbor and tell him, glory to God. You might be down, but you're going to sing again. You might be in a hard place. You might be facing difficulties, but I'm here to tell you, glory to the Lamb. You're going to sing. You're going to sing. You're going to sing again. I said a new song. He gives us a different tune. Woo! <laughs> uh, you don't have to sing those old songs of the world. I saw somebody recently used to sing in church, singing in the clubs now. I wonder what they think they're going to get in the club. They're going to get this spirit that's in that club. They're going to be hooked up and up again on drugs, and they're going to be drinking, and they're going to be running around and doing crazy stuff. God said, I put a new song in your heart. Even the praises unto God. Woo! Hallelujah. He said, I'll give you a different tune from the world. Glory to God. And now, we don't sing like the world. We sing about his great deliverances. <laughs> we sing about his healings. We sing about his goodness. We sing about his amazing grace. Why do we sing like that? Because we got a new song. The world doesn't understand it, but God loves it. My Bible says in Ze uh, Zechariah, Zephaniah said, God sings over us with rejoicing. And if he's going to sing over me, and that means he leaps like I leap. That means he dances. That means, praise God, that he gets excited about me. He gets excited about you. And he sings, sings God Almighty sings over you with rejoicing. Go on, praise him, hallelujah. Sing back to him. You get an audience with God. I want you to know discouragement is real. And the Bible says they became much discouraged in the way. The Bible says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. And then later God says, be strong and courageous. Be strong and of good courage. If you discourage, then put some courage in. David said, I encourage myself <laughs> in the Lord my God. David knew how to get God's attention, amen. So if you discourage, put some courage in. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Now notice how courage and the word of God go together. Look at Joshua 1 and 8. God spoke to his people and said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shall thou make thy way prosperous, 
and then shall thou have good success. Now look at verse 9. Have I not commanded thee? Do you see that? God doesn't want you to sit there like a knot on a log under the oppressive power of the devil. God said, have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wheresoever thou goeth. That does, means that wherever I am, my God is there with me. Hallelujah. That my God goes with me. He goes with me down through the valley. He goes with me back up to the mountaintop. He goes with me through the water. He goes with me through the flood. He goes with me through the fire. And I'll come out the other end and you'll come out without even the smell of smoke on you. Our God is the God omnipotent. And he reigns and he rules from his throne in glory. Amen. He put a new song in my heart. Now, if you have the wrong kind of words in your mouth, you will stay much discouraged. But in the midst of all your trouble, when the dark clouds come, don't say what the symptoms say. Don't say what the devil says. Don't say what somebody else says. Don't say what your body says. Don't say what the doctor's report says. Say what God says. Faith does not deny the facts, but faith always demands a change. The facts are real. I remember lying flat on my back and I was looking up to see the ceiling that cut my chest wide open. I said, God, there's no need for me to deny these facts. These facts are real. You won't get this out of a book unless somebody heard me preaching. Oh, God spoke it then. God spoke to me and said, faith never denies the facts. Faith always demands a change. Glory to God. Release your faith and watch God work on your behalf. Somebody go on and praise him. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have to say what God's word says. My God is able. My God created the heavens and the earth. My God created the sea and all that is therein. My God is a great God. He's an all-powerful God. He's your God if you've been born again through the blood of Jesus. And your God can do anything you ask him to do. Pray, pray. If you got to pray all night, stay down on your knees fast. Push the plate away. But for God's sake, sing him a song. Because God inhabits the praises of his people. Somebody go on and shout, praise ye the Lord. I think we ought to take a standing praise break right now. Take a standing ovation. Come on. Give the devil a migraine headache. I love you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. Your blood has washed me. You've established my going. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm on my way to heaven, and I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm singing as I go, and I'm here to prophesy and say, you're going to sing again. If you're looking at this thing by live stream, if you're on Facebook live, let me tell you, you are going to sing again. Just fasten your seatbelt and hold on. God's got some great things for you. Hallelujah. Glory. That's right. Go on, praise him. Yes, praise him. Praise him. Look at Ephesians 3 and 20. It says, my God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. Say it with me. My God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all I could ever ask or think. Hallelujah. He is able to do infinitely beyond my wildest dreams and imagination. Oh, I got some wild dreams. I got some great dreams. Because God is the dream maker. And God put a song in my heart. And God put a dream in my heart. And my dream is to walk in health. My dream is to preach to the nations. My dream is to do the work of God. My dream is to, to, to serve him with all my heart, soul, mind, body, and strength. My dream is to go until I cannot go. My dream is to run until I cannot run. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our God's a great God able to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask a thing according to the power, the Holy Ghost that's working in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My dream is to win lost souls. My dream is to touch people who are dying and crying and sighing with the miracle working power of God. God's been so good to me. Oh, church, there's a harvest of souls. And we need to work together. And we need to gather them into God's kingdom. Jesus said, you save four months and then the harvest. 
But I say unto you, Jesus said, the fields are already white for harvest. Pray the Lord of the harvest that he'll send forth laborers into the fields. Hallelujah. See, Jesus came to save those that were lost. He came to save souls. Hallelujah. He came to set the captive free. He came to heal the brokenhearted. He came to, pa to cast out devils. Amen. He came to proclaim the glorious year of liberty and the freedom that's in the Lord. Hallelujah. And then he sent the Holy Ghost to the church. He said, the works that I do shall you do also. And greater works than these shall I, you do because I go unto my Father. And I'm going to send the Holy Ghost and I'm not going to send you out on your own. I'm going to give you the great empowerer. I'm going to give you the one that gives Holy Ghost power. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you're going to be witnesses. You're going to tell people about Jesus. You're going to go out and win the lost to Christ. Hallelujah. You're going to do the work of him that sent you while it is day. Because the night is coming when no man can work. Look at the signs of the time. Look at the chaos in our society. But look at the peace of God that you have in the church. Look at the peace of God in your heart. You ought to sing. I said you ought to sing. You're going to sing again. You're going to sing again. Start shouting and singing your song unto God. Don't let the devil take your song. If the devil can't get your joy, I'll tell you something. He can't keep you good. If he can't get your joy, he can't keep you good. Hallelujah. Woo! I said a new song. See, we're living in an exciting day and age. Jesus has already shed his precious blood. He's already paid redemption's price. God has accepted his blood, and the claims of justice have been satisfied. The plan of salvation is finished. Glory to God. And we are blessed, 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 and highly favored of God. We've been born again. We've come out of darkness into the glorious light and the liberty of Jesus Christ. And we ought to act like it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. David said he put a new song in my heart. And listen to this. And many shall hear it and come to know the Lord. David said, because I got a song, people are going to hear my song, and they're going to see how happy I am, and they know what I went through, and they know I've been through all kinds of wars. They know how my enemy has chased after me and how they tried to kill me and try to take advantage of me. But he put a new song in my heart, and I'm going to sing my song, and when I sing my song, many are going to be saved and shall come to the Lord. Hallelujah. Why will others come to know the Lord? Because your song of salvation has given you great joy. Jesus told those seven disciples that returned to him, he said, don't rejoice because the devils are subject to you in my name. He said, that's a small thing. I, I, found, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He said, I, I want you to rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And when they got a hold of it, Jesus got so excited, said, in that hour that he, he leaped for one hour, that he rejoiced for one hour, King James. Well, here's what he really did. Glory, 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 hallelujah, glory. They understand the power of my name. He danced and he shouted and he leaped for one solid hour. Glory, glory, glory. They understand the power of my name. Don't rejoice, though, because the devils are subject to you in my name. Don't rejoice because cancer is subject to you in my name. Don't rejoice because sickness and disease is subject to you in my name. But rejoice and sing because your names are written in heaven. Hallelujah. Go on, praise him. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you're facing. If you got Jesus' joy... You got a song, and you ought to sing. I said you ought to sing, and you ought to sing all the way to heaven. Hallelujah. You heard him say, well, I, I just sung all the way to the bank. Well, I'm going to sing, and I'm going to dance, and I'm going to shout all the way to heaven. <laughs> Hallelujah. He gave me a new song. He put a song in my heart. And many shall hear it and come to know the Lord. Have you got a song in your home where the family members can hear it and they come to the Lord? 
I love David. David was a warrior and David was a worshiper. Look at Psalms 27 and 1. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? This is a warrior. I'm fighting the battles of the Lord. The Lord is my strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foe came against me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. I'm going to church. I'm going to worship God in spirit and in truth. I'm going down to the altar. I'm going to talk to the Lord. I'm going to get an answer. Hallelujah. I'm going to inquire of the Lord. And I'm going to inquire in his temple, in his church. Verse 5. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of the tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head... Be lifted above mine enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle, in his church, sacrifices of joy. Woo! I will sing, I will sing. Yea, I will sing unto the Lord. My Lord. Some people sit in church like a knot on a log. I preach my heart out to them. I tell you, I'm an exhorter. I, I come to encourage some people. Brother Woody Bradley back there. Go sit in his Sunday school class. He's an exhorter. It's just something that flows out of him. Amen. He exhorts people. He lets them know God will come through for you. It may be dark, but God is God. And God can change it. See, bad things happen to good people. Troubles come to us all. But notice what David said about his God. He said, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. He will hide me. In his secret place. I, I can just see the devil right now. And all them demons have been dispatched against you. And God's got you hidden. And, and the devils, the demons go back and said I couldn't get to him. Said he understands something about the power of the blood. He understands the power of the word. He understands something about praise. And I heard him singing a song. I just couldn't get to him. And he goes back and tell. Te- tells the devil, and they all come out and say, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I just can't find him. You can't find him, devil, because God has hidden him in the secret place of his pavilion. That's the importance of your song. That's the importance of your praise. Open your mouth and shout aloud unto God with the voice of triumph. See, David knew the key to victory. David said, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Church, we got something to sing about. And you can fa- sing in the face of the storm. You can sing in the face of the devil. You can sing in the face of your problem. You can sing in the face of your trials. It's easy to sing, church, when everything's going all right. I don't know if y'all remember that secular song. It may date me. I don't know. It says, I'm sitting on top of the world, just singing a song, just rolling along. See, the world, they can sing their song when everything's going right. I'm sitting on top of the world. That's the world system. Just rolling along, just singing a song. But David said, he put a new song in my heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, church, we got something to sing about. Can you sing when you don't have the money? Can you sing when you have a bad doctor's report? Can you sing when the whole world is turned upside down? Can you sing when nothing is going right? See, the world can sing at that time. Said, I'm sitting on top of the world just singing a song, just rolling along. But can you sing like this? Mother and daddy used to sing this song, and it brought comfort to me so many times. Those old songs that just... Down inside of me, he says, you can have a song in your heart at the night 
when it's aching, almost breaking. Anyone can sing when the sun is shining bright, but you can have a song in your heart at night. Do not let your worries drive your song away. Though tomorrow brings such sorrow, just remember after every night time comes the day. Do not let your worries drive your song away. You can have a song in your heart in the night. When it's aching, almost breaking, anyone can sing when the sun is shining bright. But you can have a song in your heart at night. How do you know that, Pastor? Because the Word of God said he put a new song in my heart. Look at your neighbor. Tell him he put a new song in my heart. Hallelujah. I got a song, and I'm going to sing it to the Lord my God. They put John Baptist in jail. He got discouraged. John, the one who baptized Jesus in the Jordan. John was there when he came up out of the water. He saw the dove. He heard the voice of God speak from heaven and say, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And now John, he's in jail and he's discouraged. And he calls his disciples and he tells them, Go ask Jesus, are you the one or should we look for another? And Jesus told him, You go back and you tell John, The blind see, the deaf hear, the lepers are cleansed. The gospel is preached to the poor. You go back and tell John, just look at the scriptures, John, and you decide for yourself if I'm the one. I am John who I say I am. Hallelujah. See, God is the I am, and God is who God says he is. But everyone gets discouraged at one time or another because that is a real devil. I said that is a real devil, but he's not in control. The Lord God omnipotent reigneth. The devil's not in control when it comes to my life. I changed lords a long time ago. I made Jesus Christ not only my Savior, but I made him my Lord and my Master. That word Master means he who is in control. He who is able to change things. Master, 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 I'm calling upon you. Who, who is in, he who is in control. I'm calling on the name of Jesus. Martin Luther, the great preacher of the Reformation, he said, he's the devil, but he's God's devil. <laughs> in other words, the devil is limited, and God is in control. He's the devil, but he's God's devil. Troubles come to us all. But while you're going through the trouble, God will hide you in the secret place. How many know what I'm talking about? I see some of them. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see you back there, Sister Clara. She ain't come on down from last night yet. Mm -hmm. I might be going through some troubles, but he's going to hide me. Hallelujah. Look at Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pleasance. The psalm, psalmist said, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. David said, I will say and he shall do. I will say of my Lord. He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. I will say, surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl and from the noise and pestle. You got to say in this thing. I said you got to say in this thing. I said one more time. You got to say in this thing. Tell the devil, get out of this situation. You don't belong on my back. You don't belong in my finances. You don't belong in my home. Matter of fact, you don't belong but one place that's under my feet. That's why I'm a dancer. Woo! <laughs> glory, glory. I just dance and shout and sing. Oh, somebody, I said, when I get in my 90s, if I have to, I'll get me a cane. Glory, <laughs> glory, glory, glory. I'll put one up and set it down. I'll put it, pick it up and set it down. I'll, glory, glory. Preacher, you know how crazy you look. Don't matter to me. I got over that a long time ago. 
I love Jesus and I hate religion. Don't let a religious demon get on you. Let Jesus get down inside of you. Get him all over you. Hallelujah. God's not interested in this denomination. God's not interested in, in my ministry. God's interested in his kingdom and God's interested in souls. God's interested in his son and the price he paid at Calvary for people. God loves you and God is for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will say of the Lord. I just need to throw this in. You can't think of praise. You can't think of praise. Anybody else want to join in? Go and praise him. I see some of you still hadn't opened your mouth. Some of you still hadn't got it. I said, look at that. Look at the Holy Ghost right there. Full of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues right now. Praising God in the spirit. Woo! See, God will demonstrate himself. I said, Holy Ghost, fire will fall. And people will be filled with the Holy Ghost and the joy of the Lord. And signs and wonders will take place. Oh, why? Because I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing. And you're going to sing again too. Hallelujah. Woo! Yes, I am the Lord your God, and I am the one that called you, and I'm the one that touched you, and I'm the one that changed you, and I'm the one that put a song in your heart, and I want you to open your mouth in the battles of life, and I want you to praise me, and I want you to thank me, and I want you to sing unto me, because I am the Lord thy God, and I'm in control of your life no matter what you're going through. Just sing unto me, and your deliverance shall come speedily, saith the Lord God of hosts. Go on, praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Go on, praise him. I said go on, praise him. Hallelujah. Woo. I believe I'm preaching to some people that know what I'm talking about. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 They put old Paul and Silas in jail for preaching the gospel. And they beat them and they put them in stocks. And they're in the innermost part of the prison and it's midnight, midnight when everything seems the darkest. And the Bible says they prayed and sang praises unto God. I can just imagine the devil talking to the apostle Paul. But I can hear Paul talking back to him and say, listen to me, devil. We might be in jail. Our backs might be bleeding. We may be bound in stocks and chains. But listen to me, devil, I'm going to tell you something. My spirit's not bound. Woo! <laughs> I might be bound, but my spirit's not bound. Oh, come on. Come on, church. Some of you need to get free. Some of you just need to give him a praise. Somebody just needs to go and praise God for his goodness. Oh, yes, get free. Get free. Get free. Shake those chains off. Shake them off. I tell you, my Jesus is a chain breaker. Woo! And he breaks every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Oh, devil, listen to us. Paul said, we might be bound, but our praise is not bound. And they sang praises unto God. And the jailer got saved. His family got saved. And all the prisoners got saved. Hallelujah. And it all happened because Paul and Silas still had their song. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes I get to preaching so fast I can't speak in English. Hallelujah. I just let him take over. 
Woo! Give up and let Jesus take over. Give up and let Jesus take over. I said, give up and let Jesus take over. And he will, he'll make a way for you. Why is he going to make a way, preacher? Because he is the way. Oh, praise him. Hallelujah. Woo! David said he put a new song in my heart, and many shall hear it and come to know the Lord. Do you want your household to get saved? Then start singing unto the Lord. Nobody's going to get saved in your house if you're sitting around sad, beaten down, and depressed. you got to have some joy to get some people saved. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. Now, in my text, the people were greatly discouraged as they journeyed in the way. So in your discouragement, don't blame the preacher, and don't blame God. Don't blame your relatives. Don't blame your friends. If you're going to blame anybody, blame the devil. God loves us. God wants us. God is for us. And this might blow you away. But God needs us. I'm so glad that God needs me. Jesus said, I am the true vine. And you are the branches. And I want you to go out. And I want you to bear fruit. And then I want you to bear more fruit. And then I want you to bear much fruit. God loves you, church. We're needed. We're wanted, we're loved, and you're lo loved of God. Pastor Ricky, listen to me. It's, life is not easy. So clean out your mouth. Clean out your eyes. Shake yourself. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and begin to sing praises under your God. Don't let discouragement overcome you, but overcome discouragement with your song. Let us sing. You're going to sing a new song. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Put a new song Hallelujah. in my heart. If you're here today and you don't have the song of salvation, these altars are open. God loves you. He loves you just the way you are. You can come just the way you are. If you have failed... Just come. Yes. Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Praise God. In the book of Revelation, it says, The Spirit says, Come. The bride says, Come. Let him that is a thirst come. Whosoever will, let him come. Take of the water of life freely. Hallelujah. Some of you saints, come and help me pray. Yes. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. Amen. Father, I will sing of here's the a young lady that has come to the foot of the cross. And Lord, she wants to be saved. She knows she's sinned. She knows she's done some things that are wrong. But Lord Jesus, you took her sin on the cross. You took her sickness, her disease, and her pain. And I want you to look at me. Say, Jesus, I'm a sinner, but I believe that you took my sins in your own body. I believe you bore my shame. I believe you took my sorrow. I believe you rose again the third day, and I ask you to come in my heart. I ask you to save me. I thank you, Lord, I'm saved. I thank you, Lord, I'm saved. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift them up. Lift them up. Yeah, yes. Yeah, take it. Say, thank you, Lord, I'm saved. Yes. Receive. There it is. Take it. Woo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Glory. Thank you, Lord. That's it. Now take those glasses off. Take those glasses off. You're too young to be wearing glasses. In Jesus' name, I command those eyes to see properly. In the name of Jesus, say, I receive it, Lord. Yes. I receive it, Lord. I receive it. Thank God I'm free. Thank God I'm free. Yes. Shout it to him. Thank Hallelujah. God I'm free.